Hello and welcome to this educational video about cataract. First, let me explain you what cataract is. A cataract is basically a clouding of the lens of the eye, which causes a clouded vision. It can occur in either one or both eyes but it cannot spread from one eye to the other. Most cataracts are related to aging and are very common in older people. Now let's focus on the anatomy of the eye. When you study the anatomy of the eye, just have in mind that vision is one of our most valued resources and it's amazing how these small organs will accomplish such a difficult task. The eye is anatomically divided into the anterior and the posterior segment. The anterior segment is made up of the cornea, iris, and lens. The posterior segment includes the vitreous, retina, choroid and the outer white shell called the sclera. Here we are discussing cataract and so we are particularly interested in analyzing the lens. As you can see, the lens is located directly behind the iris. Here you have a simplified design. Light enters the eye through the cornea, it travels through the hole in the center of the iris, which is called the pupil, and then through the lens. The lens is kept on its place by the suspensory ligament of the lens. This ligament attaches to the lens at its equator and connects it to the ciliary muscles. The lens has two important tasks, first just as the cornea, the lens focuses light onto the retina. At the retina, light is changed into nerve signals that are sent to the brain. Second, the lens adjusts the eye's focus, allowing us to see things clearly both up close and far away. This is done by a process called accommodation. Accommodation happens through the ciliary muscles attached to the lens. When the ciliary muscle is contracting, the lens becomes more convex, improving the focus for closer objects. When it relaxes, it flattens the lens, generally improving the focus for farther objects. The lens is made mostly of crystallins and water. Crystallins are water-soluble proteins that compose over 90% of the protein within the lens. The protein is arranged in a precise way that keeps the lens clear and lets light pass through it. In cataracts some of the protein may clump together resulting in clouding the lens. This process happens gradually. While most cataracts are related to age, there are also other types of cataract. In the case of secondary cataract, cataract is a result from another health issue such as a surgery or diabetes. Cataracts can also develop from exposure to radiation or after an eye injury, sometimes years later. In some cases a person is born with cataract or develops it in childhood, often in both eyes. The most common symptoms of a cataract are Blurry or cloudy vision Colors that appear more faded Headlights, lamps, or sunlight may appear too bright A halo may appear around lights Night vision worsens Multiple images or double vision from one eye this symptom may disappear as the cataract gets larger. Finally, frequent prescription changes in contact lenses or glasses can also be an important sign of a cataract. Research suggests that some factors may increase the risk of developing cataract, such as diabetes, smoking, alcohol use, and prolonged exposure to UV sunlight. Cataract can be detected through a complete eye exam that includes the following. First, a simple vision test such as the visual acuity test. Slit lamp examination is used to see the anterior structures of the eye under magnification. Then, the dilated eye exam is performed in which drops are placed in the eyes to dilate the pupils. This allows the eye care professional to examine also the retina and optic nerve. Lastly, a tonometry is performed to measure the pressure inside the eye. These are the basic tests but more tests can be done to gain more information about the eye structure. The only effective treatment for cataracts is surgery. It is usually suggested that cataract surgery only be considered when the cataract begins to affect the quality of life. For example, interfere with normal daily activities, such as reading or driving at night. So, I hope you have enjoyed this video, thank you so much for watching.